All right, hello everyone. This is John from Boolean Exchanges, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to use the Sigma Metalytics Precious Metals Verifier. Um, it's an extremely useful tool that can test um, a lot of different metals on a lot of different purities, and um, it's one of the machines we use most here at Boolean Exchanges to uh, ensure the authenticity of what we're selling you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you exactly what's going on here, and um, you just go ahead and hit the power button, and then um, hit the run cal button over here to start up and you can see that it lands on gold pure uh, 0.999 three nines plus so i'm going to take a credit swiss bar i have here uh, you can see it's four nines right on there i'm going to go ahead and place it on here and you can see it falls within the brackets if the uh, bar falls within the brackets then that's how you know that what you have there is what it says that it is which is pure gold so i'm going to go ahead and i'll place a few more on here and you can see how they test and I'm gonna go ahead and take a Krugerrand now the Krugerrand is not pure gold but there is still one ounce of gold in that coin um, there's just other metals added on there to uh, um, to make it kind of more durable harder because gold is a soft metal naturally. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll place the Krugerrand, which is not pure, uh, onto the machine, and we'll see where it lands on the pure setting. And you can see that the bar does not fall within the brackets. It falls well off the screen, actually. And that's how you know that it is definitely not pure gold. However, if we take the Krugerrand and we go side to side on the machine, and we go ahead and land on the Krugerrand setting, I'm going to go ahead and place the Krugerrand on the setting and you can see that it falls well within the brackets. So I'm going to go ahead and take other Krugerrands now, put them on the machine and you can see they test just fine. I'll test a few for you to see. And let's see what happens if I take something that is not the purity of a Krugerrand, a, uh, a pure gold bar, like the Credit Suisse bar we just tested, and I place it on the, uh, uh, on the Krugerrand setting. You can see that it falls well, well off the screen, which means that uh, it is not the, the purity that we set it to, which is the, uh, the Krugerrand purity. It is a different purity altogether, it's pure. So we would have to go to the pure setting again to, uh, to have it fall within the brackets. Now I'm going to take a fake Krugerrand that we have here. This is a fake quarter ounce Krugerrand. And you can see that it does look a little bit off. You know, a regular quarter ounce Krugerrand wouldn't normally look like this. And that's one of the giveaways that this is fake. But if you're not too well versed in uh, uh, how these coins should look exactly look and you want to be sure of it, then uh, I recommend uh, using this machine. And I'll go ahead and take one of the wands that it comes with. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here onto the side of the machine. It plugs in right here. And I'll just show you. And hit Run Cal again. Go over to the Krugerrand setting. First, I'm going to test a real one. And you can see that it falls within the brackets. So it is good to go. And I'm going to take the fake one and test it and it falls well outside the brackets. So you know that this is not a real Krugerrand. It is not the purity that a Krugerrand should be. And I'll also remove this wand. I'll plug in a smaller wand in case that other one was too big for the, for the fake coin. And I'll start up again, run cow. Test a real Krugerrand. You can see that it tests just fine. I'll test another one. That's just fine. And the fake one. Again, well off the screen. So you can tell that it is definitely fake. And as you can see, I'm not placing them on the machine like I was before. When you plug in the wand, then you can just basically hold it anywhere and it should test. So I'll show you again. Great, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually test some silver. So uh, this machine doesn't just test gold, it also tests silver and other metals. So I'll show you uh, how that works right now. Um, the, uh, the side to side arrows select the purity of the metal that you're on. 
but to uh, select a different metal altogether, you want to go up or down. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, press the down arrow, and we should get the silver. It also has platinum, and once you reach the platinum setting, you can go to the right, and you can see the other metals like palladium, or rhodium, or even copper at tests. So this machine is pretty versatile, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to silver, and I'll go ahead and grab a silver eagle, and I'm going to test the silver eagle right now. This is a real silver eagle we're testing. As you can see when I place it on the machine, it is pure silver. I'll test a couple other ones for you to see. And they're all testing just fine. As long as the bracket is within the, uh, as long as the bar is within the brackets, then you know that the metal is uh, is what it says that it is. So now I'm going to grab some fake silver coins that we have. These are some fake pandas that we came across. These uh, say .999 silver on them, three nines of silver, but uh, they actually are not, as you will see in one moment. So this is a few fake silver coins we have. I'm going to place them on the machine. And you can see the bar falls well without, well outside the brackets. So that's how you know that these are definitely not 0.999 silver. They are not pure silver. And I'll test another silver eagle for you to see. It falls within the brackets. So these are real and these are not. And uh, like I said, uh, this machine comes with three different wands uh, for different thicknesses of coins. If you're buying large bullion bars, say 100 ounce silver bars, you might want to go for the bullion wand where you can just plug it in and then uh, get to the setting that you want. Say silver. I'll just test the silver eagle right now, but it should work anyway. It falls within the brackets, and that's how you know that it is, in fact, real. So now... Um, you know how to use the precious metals verifier, the Sigma precious metals verifier. And um, if you'd like, you can go online to bullionexchanges.com and purchase one of these. It's a really great machine and um, you know, it, it, it provides you peace of mind uh, when you buy bullion. So um, if you have any questions, please contact our customer service representatives. You can go online, uh, send us an email. You can call us at 212-354-1517. If you have any questions or you'd like to purchase one of these, uh, also, uh, you can go online, like I said, bullionexchanges.com. So thank you very much for watching, and um, I hope that, uh, that you get some good use out of your Sigma Metalytics Precious Metals Verifier. Thanks.